2 minute anaesthesia gas laws. Please like and subscribe. Gas laws are a relatively definition heavy topic. Key definitions include the following. A fluid. This is either a liquid or gas. A gas. A gas could be a pure gas, i.e. neon, elemental, for example oxygen, or a selection of atoms, i.e. carbon dioxide. It's defined as a substance or matter which freely expands to fill a whole container. The gas laws are a group of physical laws modeling the behavior of gases developed from experimental observations back in the 17th century. It describes the way a perfect gas will behave under a certain set of conditions, i.e. temperature, volume and pressure. The ideal gas will obey all three laws. Standard temperature and pressure is defined as 0 degrees C or 273 Kelvin and atmospheric pressure, which is 101 kPa, 760 millimeters mercury or 1 bar. And finally, Avogadro's constant, 1 mole is equal to 6 times 10 to the 23 units of a substance, i.e. atoms, molecules, ions. The kinetic molecular theory of gases describes the behaviour of gases and it provides a molecular explanation for the observations which led to the development of the ideal gas law. It's formed from the combination of Boyle's, Charles and Gay-Lussac's law in addition to Avogadro's law. And it's based on a number of key assumptions. The particles move in straight lines unless they collide and change direction. There's no interaction between the particles. Within the volume of the gas, it's mainly empty space. And pressure is exerted when the particles hit the side of the container. The average kinetic energy is proportional to the temperature. So you increase the temperature and you'll increase the kinetic energy. Now let's look at the three gas laws. There are three variables, temperature, pressure and volume. For each law, one is fixed. Boyle's law, temperature is fixed. So at a constant temperature, the volume of a fixed amount of gas is inversely proportional to its pressure. This produces an exponential graph. The following two laws have linear relationships. So Charles's law, at a constant pressure, the volume of a fixed amount of gas is proportional to its absolute temperature. So you increase the temperature, increase the volume. Gay-Lussac, at a constant volume, the pressure of a fixed volume of gas will increase in proportion to its absolute temperature. So as the temperature increases, the pressure of the gas increases. We will now discuss each of the individual gas laws and the clinically relevant examples. Boyle's law. This is important for the clinical estimations of interthoracic gas volumes by plethysmography. Altitude. As altitude increases, the pressure falls during ascent. This leads to an inverse proportional rise in gas volume, which in turn can lead to expansion of air in gas-filled chambers, which can lead to expansion of a pneumothorax. Diving. Water pressure decreases as a diver ascends. So if a diver takes a large breath and holds it, this intrathoracic gas volume will expand and may lead to the development of a pneumothorax. Clinically relevant examples for Charles's law, the nitrous oxide cylinder. So nitrous oxide is a colourless gas and is stored in a cylinder. It's stored as a liquid and a vapour above the liquid below its critical temperature. The cylinder pressure does not accurately indicate the filling states of the cylinder as the saturated vapour pressure will only decrease once all of the liquid portion of the nitrous oxide is used and that therefore the cylinder is mainly empty. So in order to calculate the filling status, we need to weigh the cylinder and use Avogadro's law and the molecular weight of nitrous in order to calculate the remaining volume. The second example is the gas thermometer. As the temperature increases, the volume increases, allowing detection on the thermometer at the higher temperature. Gay-Lussac's law clinical example. Pressure relief valves. So in warm environments, the temperature within a cylinder can increase and this will result in an increase in pressure. In order to limit the pressure within the cylinder, a pressure relief valve will open and allow venting of gas to prevent explosion of the cylinder. Ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. It is possible to calculate the missing value if you have four out of the five variables and the equation can be rearranged. It's important to note that the pressure is in pascals, and this is usually documented in kilopascals, which is a factor of a thousand greater. Volume is in meters cubed, and temperature is in Kelvin. The final three laws. Dalton's law. So the total pressure exerted by a gas mixture is a sum of each individual partial pressure. 
Henry's law. For constant temperature, the amount of gas dissolved in the liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of this gas in equilibrium with it. And finally, Graham's law. The rate of diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the square root of the mass of its particles.